What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and today we have a Cosmic Eclipse opening. We are going to be opening this whole box of Cosmic Eclipse 36 packs. Uh, quick intro because this is going to take some time. So let's just jump right into it. In fact, I feel like it's going to be tough to <laughs> basically talk for whatever amount of time it takes to open up all these packs. So we're going to go fast. Sorry, Pikachu. Kind of knocked you in the face a little bit. All right, start on the left side. Stuff that we, stuff that we're looking for. We are looking for that Flannery character rare, Flannery Torkoal. It would be the last um, non-GX character rare that we need. And as far as all of that, we need the N1 and the Vile Plume. That does not include the Rainbow varieties. To be honest, like Rainbow, ah, Rainbow doesn't do much for me anymore. All those stuff we would like to make some more decks. Uh, Reshiram would be fun to make. The uh, Dialga Boys, like, yep, that would be fun, but that one's kind of lower on my priority list. And uh, let's see. I think I have already everything I need for, like, the babies deck if I want to pull that off. Misty Lorelei, um, I'm not sure if Blastoise will do it. If you don't put them in your hand, yeah, there's. I'm just. It's that, I feel like that deck's just lacking some ramp. Alright, Cleave Fairy. Flabebe, <laughs> maybe I'll put this off to the side in case I want to do that Lily's Pokey Doll. I doubt it. I'm not a big fan of those strategies, but we'll keep our options open. Jangmo O, Flabebe Reverse, and ooh, so this card is cool, but I feel like there's the non GX strategies are just too strong right now. That the jumping balloon, like if tag teams and Mewtwo takes back over, that card's gonna only increase in its. Like the value it brings to the meta, or just be more relevant. That's the ones I'm looking for. So right off the bat, we got a hit. Great start right there. And we're gonna keep going. Hope everyone's having a good day. And uh, getting excited for the weekend. Lily's full force ends resolve. We got both of those cards for the uh, their tag teams. Grimer, Magnemite, Eevee. Ooh, character rare. Wow, we're doing really well. And this one seems uh, not perfectly centered. I feel like it is a little bit shifted in that direction or to the right. Very slightly. So we're we'll going to just put him in a perfect fit as opposed to a penny sleeve. But hey, two packs, two hits. This is a pretty good ratio. We are going 1,000 1, right now. Not the character rare we're looking for, though. Still need that Torkoal. Of course, it's the turtle that eludes us. Kind of like that uh, reverse Tortuga that we never pulled. So I went to my first league yes, or, uh, the couple nights ago and had a blast. And now I kind of want to start making some more decks. Let's see. Nope, that's not thing. Epsil. I think stuff I want to make is a Reshiram. Um, if we can get another Reshizar or Charizard breaks in, maybe we'll do something with that. Kind of just like a greens, greens Charizard or Rishizard slash Reshiram. I think that could be pretty cool. The fact that um, Charizard breaks in can just keep tutoring whatever it needs. Maybe we'll just keep getting the heals, get a super scoop up, just so we can stay alive, even if we're facing like um, Giratina or something. Tag call, I'll definitely be leveraging that. So I only have one Trevenant Dusk, uh, Trevenant Dust Noir, whatever it is, but the there's some pretty crazy shenanigans you can do with that deck, especially with uh, Mistrevious. And kind of like suicide a couple of Mistreviouses, and maybe you stamp, and then you can uh, basically to get to the point where you can beast ring, and then use that tag switch, use tag switch to tack right away. So that would be really cool to put together as well. As always, guys, you do want to support the channel. Easiest way is hitting that like button. And if you're not already sub, definitely sub. Chaotic Swell is a pretty cool card. Tropius, Meowth, Ralts, Passimian, Jangmo, -O, Rowlet, Unidentified Fossil, and a Swoobat. Okay, my pile's all messed up. All right, so far, only two hits. Things have cooled off significantly. Haven't done a market video in some time. I think we'll definitely do one next week. Um, I, I'm hoping that you know after a couple weeks of 
Cosmic Clips being out that the prices will start to stop moving so drastically or so rapidly that our information actually stays relevant for you know more than a day that's kind of the goal Carvana Chincho Azuril Rufflet Rufflet and then a Slurp Puff We have a Fairy Energy, Zangoose, Vaporeon, Tag Call, very nice, Magnemite, Lillipup, Trap Pinch, Sneasel, Isfeel, Carvana is our reverse, and then a Weavile. Alright, let's see, we got electric energy. Ooh, red and blue. Um, there was something that we were talking about. I think those I wonder if there's a way to make this work for a Rushy Rom deck, but I can't remember what it was. Like what, what we evolve into. But that would be kind of nice because it'll just ramp up something that is does something on the bench. I don't know, maybe like a Silvalli. And and then like the Reshi Ram will just be discarding those energies that we're ramping up. Victini so it won't be for to set up for the attack, but it'll just kind of be the fuel that is the energies on the bench for it. So definitely some possibilities there. And we are ice cold at the moment. So we stopped drawing cards. As far as like the secret rares, ah Torkoal! Some secret rares. I think that the tag call would be pretty cool. Um, any of the full art supporters, like the tag team ones, would be nice. Maybe the Caitlyn one. Cynthia Caitlyn, I think, is uh, well. That's the one I currently use in my Malamar deck. Rockruff, a Stuffle, Rowlet, a Phantom, Rosa. Actually, this might be our first Rosa. It's a. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this card. You can play this card only if one of your Pokemon is knocked out last turn, so it's kind of like Oricorio, that kind of effect. Search your en your deck for a Pokemon trainer card and a basic energy card. Put them into your hand. Ooh, Reshiram. Okay, here we go. We got the just the regular arts, but it looks amazing. And yeah, I think we're gonna make a deck out of this. We got some cool Naga Natal promos and we already I think so we just have to dig up some other ones from all of our previous openings and then we should be good to go that deck sounds like fun I'm trying to think like because I guess you could technically use like Tapu Coco for ramp or you could just go with welder and like the electric energies just won't maybe there won't be that many of them uh, maybe even go with a like, unit energy or something like that Tepig Togemaru, Chaotic Swell Reverse, and Drampa. I think, I can't remember how many Rushy Rounds we have, but I think we have enough to make our deck. So now let's move back to the Charizard Breaks in Target. Because I'm not sure how many you need, but I'm guessing it's more than one. We already have plenty of Reshizards from those collection boxes. If we wanted to go both routes. Togemaru. Kyogre. Alright. Blastoise Piplup. I feel like there is a chance you could make this work. High Water. You need an amazing turn one. So compared to Volcanian starts for um, like Reshizard. This is much more difficult. Basically, you need this in active. Sure, it's only one energy again, but you need to get two water energy in your discard. Not the easiest thing to do. Yes, there are a lot of discard stuff now, so it is possible. Maybe we'll see if we can make that work. Ooh, I love this card. I think this is a very nice one of in Malamar. So, happy to pick that up. When it comes to like that or Silvalli GX, like... I don't know, this, this you don't have to evolve. You know, maybe Silvalli will net more cards over time, but I like I like the low maintenance part of this thing. Super easy to set up. Alright, Vibra, and if, if it does go out in the active, it's only one retreat cost, which is nice. Great catcher, very nice. Maybe that's how we can uh, set up that Kyogre. Snow Runt, Rock Ruff, Deerling, Teddy Ursa, Golet, 
a Rockruff is a reverse. And then I are Maldo. Do I know what this does? 20 plus 50 for each unidentified fossil in your discard. In your discard pile. Okay, that's somewhat do. Although you need to evolve from that too. Although I think there is that research lab thing to help get it out. If you guys haven't caught uh, any of our streams yet, we do stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And uh, yeah, my uh, evenings have become more Pokemon filled than they normally are because uh, we'll be streaming on those three nights and then Wednesdays we will be trying to go to that league uh, just to have a you know play some IRL Pokemon Ooh, Stoutland this is like Stoutland number five or something and this one is pretty well centered all right feel not bad this deserves its perfect fit I don't know what the distribution of character rares are, but that Torkoal seems pretty rare. Stoutland, less so. We have a good amount of Mimikyu's. Very confusing. Hello, I guess that's always the case to some degree. Alright, two character rares, three GX's. Very nice. Good start to for the half box. And uh, yeah, we still got another half. This video is going to be a little bit long compared to our previous ones. And on the Twitch side for our streaming, um, you know what, I might wonder if this would work for Reshizard, just to give some heal. That's, But uh, yeah, we are super close to getting to that, uh, the follower mark that you need to basically be a valid candidate for um, affiliate status where you can do like emotes and all that jazz so really excited about that and link to our twitch is right down below in the description psychic energy Mimikyu thought this one was gonna be better than it actually is Beastite Lilip Tepig Sandshrew Snowrunt Coughing Drillbore Chincho and Alolan Sandslash. Alright, after our halfway mark, we're going to clean up our piles and start back up. You know what we want? We want one of those like loaded packs. You get a character rare and then a ultra rare plus or ultra rare better after that. I'm not sure if we've done that yet. I don't think so. Alright, let's see. Lily Pup. Scrup. Ooh, Sculpture Galgi. I don't think that's good enough, but sounds fun. Ooh, Caitlyn. Cynthia, super off center. And but it's a reverse. Very cool. And Crabominable. Ah, Deerling. We need some Sawbucks. Then some Pokey Dolls. That deck is annoying. Not as no I'm not. I won't stoop as low as playing some kind of Pidgeotto shenanigans. <laughs> uh, I feel like everyone in the Discord is trying to trying to throw Pidgeys at me in one fashion or the other. All right, we got a Whalmer and our Golurk. Okay, last pack for the first half of the box. Oh boy, a little overexcited in our opening of this pack. Alright, we have a Water Energy, Larvesta, um, I guess some people have had some success with, uh, the name escaped me, Larvesta Evolution, but I'm still super skeptical. Sveal, a Snow Runt is our reverse, and then Kyogre again! They really want us to try that Blastoise deck. Alright, I'm gonna be right back, I'm just going to do some pile control and be event and continue all right we're back had to do a little bit stretch my back a little bit and let's keep going ah so sun and moon is right around the oh, not sun and moon sword and shield is right around the corner so we are going to be 
making content for that. Uh, Alright, so this is the... Is this it? When you play Pokemon Evolve, you may choose a random card from your opponent. Nope, not that one. It's the Stage 2. So that does involve some like rare candy stuff as well. But we'll put that off to the side just in case. Roxy, and then Herdier. Grimer. Um, but yeah, we'll probably stream that too, just to see, we'll kind of feel out what people like to watch, whether it's PTCGO or Sword and Shield. And I have to imagine that we'll probably do a mix. Uh, I'm not sure what the order will be, whether we'll open up with some Sword and Shield and then switch over to PTCGO or the other way around. Uh, if you happen to have an opinion on what you feel like would be better content for streaming, let me know in a comment below as we move on to the next pack. Psychic. Curlia. B sharp, Torkoal, wrong one, Eevee, the Duskull, Temple, the baby again. I think we have enough for babies. Ends resolve, Lunala. I think we're about due for a hit. As far as like, um, Ultra rares are better. We're out uh, at three, and at least for previous, like, um, actually, uh, Unified Minds was pretty good pull rates, but I feel like, you know, on um, Broken Bonds and previously, it was uh, kind of like six per box. All right, Cottony, and that doesn't include, like, the character rares or anything, whatever's in the uh, reverse slot. Heracross, and then, <laughs> this is our first ugly cat look at that what is i almost feel bad like this card is the pokemon is so ugly <laughs> and um you know when if this the non-gx pokemon uh decks kind of like we're get we're to get a little bit weaker you know this card i feel like might be it's time to shine um basically you can't be doesn't take damage from tag teams ultra beasts and anything with a special energy attached to it Kind of a random, you know, not the most consistent sounding, uh, you know, conditions, but my thought is, let's say, you know, let's say Reshiram was super strong and, you know, there not, aren't that many other cards in there. Yeah, on tag teams, it's like, hey, I got a ugly cat, and it's like, okay, let's go on to the next match. Alright, Metal Energy, Cosmome, Clay... Cricketune, Chincho, a Cosmog, Pancham, Drillbur, a Tangela, ooh, Magnemite. We are pulling a lot of these as well. And this one is well centered. All right, that one we are going to put in a penny sleeve. So we do have the option to send it off to PSA. And we'll totally send something to PSA very soon. Yeah, maybe. Have like a hundreds of cards set aside. Like, yep, they're in. Doing card savers for that purpose. And uh, yeah, so we did hit our, like, I feel like sometimes you only get like one full art and uh, actually Unified Mind, or this set, it feels like you get two secrets kind of thing, Hyper Rare slash Secret Rare. And I feel like only one full art. And that's going to be the one that's a little disappointing, not going to lie. We have a Trap Pinch and then a Whale Lord. The back of this card feels a little funny. Alright, Water Energy, Guzma and Hala, get a Stadium, discard two, and then you can grab some other cards, three for three, I'm not crazy about it, we'll put them off to the side just in case, Draw Energy, I do like that card, Woobat, Ducklet, a Swirlix, Grimer, Slugma, Embor, and then a Steelix. Uh, what are the chances you can use Embor for ramp? I doubt it. Seems like a lot of work to get a basic and then evolve it twice or rare candy it just to get some ramp. Unless it's something crazy like the Porygon. Crazy code Porygon. Alright, Dark Energy. Type Null. I'll yeah, we'll put you off to the side. We might need you for a Savali deck. Alright, Piplup. Cosmog, Ponyta, 
Crub Brawler, Carvana, a Araquanid, and a Whimsicott. Shout out to everyone on the our Discord. Uh, link is always below if you do want to join. Uh, it's just starting to really enjoy just uh, randomly chatting with everyone and during all times of day. Uh, good stuff over there. We got Wilmer, Palpatode, Quick Top, A Palm, A Sphil, and ooh, the ba we are pulling a lot of the babies. I'm not sure how many you need in your deck, but I doubt it's many. Like, this is the one that you, all your energy has to get to, so... Not gonna really fight. Okay, so I feel like this set, um, it's kind of like... Has had a pretty good reception. I feel like a lot of people are enjoying it, um, but I'm. If I have a suspicion that the hype will die down really fast, and I wonder if the interest will move back to hidden fates. If that's the case, if you didn't see our yesterday's video, um, yeah, we are prepared for that situation. Zatu, I want this card to be relevant again when uh, when non GX stuff stop being so strong. That's gonna be Zatu's time to shine. You know, maybe a Lolan Persian, that ugly, ugly cat as well, but Zatu, hey, flip a coin. Flip a coin. If I get heads, you are probably gonna be knocked out. Alright, let's see, we got a roller skater. Kinda of disappointing that card. Not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Clefairy, A Bapalm, Basimian, Jang Mo'o, Rowlet, A Scrope. Pikachu, Onyx is our reverse, and then a Marshadow. Choose one of your ac opponent's active Pokemon's non-GX attacks and use it as this attack. That does sound pretty strong. Uh, three energy is kind of a lot. I feel, I feel like there's not many DCEs being used recently. Alright, once again, it's feel like it's been a little bit since we got our last hit. Break that streak. Blubba Embracing Man. Not a fan. Pig Knight. Zangoose. Deerling. Put you off to the side. Teddy Ursa. Golet. Dewpiter. A Helioptile. Island Challenge Amulet. Followed by Lycanroc. Another card that. Yeah, it's kind of risky to put him in until. Until the GX's reign supreme again. Alright, Fighting Energy, Togedemaru, alright we are running low on packs, Trap Pinch, Sneasel, Sveal, Malola Meow, Rolts, Weavile, nice, Centering is not perfect, followed by Heliolisk, and uh, actually I saw someone made a comment on Reddit like the colors are really nice in this, and I have to agree, this is really nice art, I just, I don't know, something about Weavile stance, you just like, Super confident, he's like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> and I do like that. Man, we pull a lot of character rares. What is that? Our third one for this box. So I'm wondering if the hit count is about like 10 maybe at the end of the day? All right, we got maybe like five, six pack packs remaining for this opening. Still no secret rares or anything like that. When I look at uh, on Reddit, I feel like a lot of people are getting like multiples. Sometimes they get like multiple for ETB, which is absurd. Clefairy, Litleo, Coughing, Nosepass, a Snowrunt, Rockruff, a Bapalm, Bapalm, and then a Flygon. Some of these uh, reverses feel very thick. A Flygon GX. Not that interested in making this card work. All right, let's see, five packs remaining for our opening. So now that I'm trying to put together some IRL decks, it's kind of a funny situation because 
Um, up till not too long ago, you know, I just kind of had all this bulk like all over the place. And now it's like, oh man, I need these uncommons. <laughs> I'm having trouble finding them. And just because I never really, I don't spend a lot of time to organize my cards. Like, oh, here's all the commons and uncommons for this set and that, like, um, and so on. So now it's kind of difficult. It's like, oh, I need this card. I really don't want to buy it. There's probably many copies somewhere in this apartment. But finding them is not very straightforward. And PTCGO, since I give away like all these code cards, um, I can't try a lot of these decks. I, I could probably put together IRL. Uh, I can't put them together in PTCGO. All right, Stuffle, Ponyard, Pikachu, Sogaleo. I think this is our first Sogaleo. If you have Lunala and Sogaleo, um, if you have Lunala in play, your Sogaleo will take 50 less damage. Interesting. Discard two energy for 180. Two stage twos that pair off together? Mm. Don't think so. I'm getting a little nervous though about uh, our secret rare slot. Zangoose, Vaporeon, Tagal, nice. Oddish, Rufflet, Piplup, a Vulpix, Ruckruff. Sokaleo again, this time we got the reverse, that was fast. And ends resolve, very nice. Not the uh, best card, but you know it does um, it, it is the condition to use Reshiram's GX or to power it up. Yard is not bad. Discard top six cards of your deck. If any of those are basic energy, attach them to your benched dragon Pokemon. All right. So we did get a full art supporter. And two packs remaining. This was a lot of fun. And with this opening, you know, we're going to go back to the couple openings a week. Uh, but we're going to do bigger openings versus, you know, whatever, 10, 12 packs per day. 10 growth. Print plot. Aaron off. It kind of makes it easier to do other content that is not just straight up openings. And to be honest, I, I really enjoy doing that um, for you guys as well. We have Azuril and the Muck. Love the art, not the card. Our last pack. I would say this was ratio wise a good box. Not the best as far as hits go. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate if you stuck with me this entire time through the entire box. Caitlin, Cynthia, very nice. And I uh, hope to catch you guys on stream in the near future. And uh, yeah, here we go. Psyduck, Trapinch, Duskull. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I'm Juan Turtle. And we'll catch you guys next time.